हेलो ऑल वेलकम टू बाइनरी आइकस डॉट कॉम जो वाइ शार्क ट्रेनिंग पार्ट फोर इंट्रोडक्शन द गुई पैनल इन वाइ शार्क टू ओपन द कैप्चर फाइल इन वाइ शार्क गो टू द फाइल एंड क्लिक ऑन द ओपन और द शॉर्टकट की इज कंट्रोल प्लस ओ और यू कैन यूज दिस ओपन बटन ऑन मेन टूल बार आइर वे सो क्लिक सिलेक्ट योर कैप्चर फाइल एंड ओपन so it will open that capture file in wireshark on the top you can see there is a file edit view this all menus are top down menus and also called the main menus below the main menu there are a main toolbar menu available the main toolbar menu is also available in main menus and the function are same so this icon on main toolbars are frequently used in wireshark therefore they create a shortcut icon on the main toolbar below the main toolbar there is a display filter area is come in filter area you can sort out a particular protocol or particular packets from the available bunch of packet like if i want only r packet of this all bunch of packet just type arp and press enter or click on the apply so the wireshark is filter the only arp packet from the available packets to go back click on the clear so you can go back to your main window below the filter area packet list area is available or you can say the packet list pane there is a number of packets you can see the time source and destination ip addresses the protocol are using the ip addresses length and the information of the protocol below the list of packets there is a another pane available and you can say it a uh, packet detail pane in packet detail pane you can analyze and you can gain the information of the segmented packets and frames suppose i click on this tcp of 10 packets there is a transmission control protocol the port is used for source and destination is available the ip address that uses for that port like source ip address and destination ip address is available so for analyzing our packet this packet detail frame will use below the packet detail frame there is another pane called the packet byte pane so in packet byte pane uh, the information is display in hexadecimal format or the ascii format in the last there is a status bar is available so the status bar display the total number of packet is 1 to 9 1 and the display packet is 1 to 9 1 suppose i sort out a packet like arp from this whole packet click apply and you can see the total number of packet is 1 to 9 1 and display packet is only 2 so the status bar is used for this type of information in our main toolbar the first button is interface available list so it will display the list available of our interface so click on the ip right here so this is my machine ip address 1.10 to start capturing on this list or this interface just check on the interface and click on the start so it will start the capture of particular interface the second icon is for show the capture options so it will display the capture options of the wireshark so this is my interface nic card and this is my capture options available right here so if i want a multiple files of my capture files i can check this box and use of multiple files suppose i want to divide every capture file of 1 megabyte so just click on the next every file right here so it will uh, separate all captures from 1 megabyte file i can also set a minutes or second for my capture file 
so I'm not using a multiple file right here so let disable this option we also give a detail for a stop capturing files if I check box on this so and give a minute like 5 minute so it will stop the live capture after 5 minutes automatically so I can also set a packets suppose I have ordered two packets so it will stop the two packets after the live capture so for our video demonstration disable this because I am not using this all icons or this all settings so leave it our default setting and let's close this the next icon is to start a new live capture and after that the stop running live capture is come so it is used for stop the live capture if you want to restart your live capture you can use this icon to restart your live capture after that to open the file this icon is used this icon is used to save the file your current file in a particular directory to close your capture file you can use this close icon or to reload your capture file you can use this reload icon the next one is find capture icon so it will find the capture packet suppose I'm going to use ARP and click on the file so it will directly jump to our ARP packet so it is not apply to our filter it directly jump to the available packets in the ARP the next one is it's a remember the history of the packet and it's used for backward and forward let me show you suppose in first I'm look for the packet number one so I select the packet number one then I go to the packet number five then 10 then 15 and then 20 okay you can see right here in packet detail frame so now I forgot my uh, last looking packet and I want to go back to the my packet of last what I to back our previous packet click on the back go back button right here so it will directly jump to the 15 then 10 then 5 and last one same for forward so jump to the 5 10 15 and 20 so it will save the history of packet what I'm going to use or what I'm going to look the next icon is uh, go to the packet with the number suppose if you want to jump a particular number of the packet you can use this icon so packet number suppose I type 100 and jump to so it will directly jump on the packet number 100 the next icon is used is go to the first packet so it will directly jump to the packet number one you can see the packet number one and it's directly jump on the first packet after the next one is go to the last packet so you directly jump to the last packet of your bunch of the packet the next one is used to color our packets so it will color a particular protocol with a particular color suppose I do not want to color or colorize our packet Just click here and the color is gone so if you want to colorize packet click again the color is back the next is to auto scroll your packet list in live capture after that the zoom option is come this is for zoom in so it will zoom in your packet and next one is zoom out and the next is zoom 100% so it is a default setting of your packet the next one is resize your all column so I click that it will resize your all column perfectly the next 
icon or next option is the edit to capture filter edit and apply the display filter and edit the color coloring rules so this is used to edit your coloring rules if you want you can change your color for a particular protocol after that the preferences is come and it also available in edit and preferences and the last one is our help option so this is all for part 4 see you in the next video and thanks for watching